you so much for watching this video. Today I want to share my current favorite art supplies with you. These are the supplies that I love to use in my Hobonichi Techo. I store them in this wonderful pencil case, which is also awesome to take on the go. I got this off of coolpencilcase.com. I will link it down below. The zipper is really smooth and also very sturdy, so it won't mind if you just throw this pencil case into your bag or your backpack. And you can see that the layout is actually perfect for the things that I like to carry on a daily basis. On the left side, I have my pencil. This is my favorite mechanical pencil. It's the Uni Kuratoga. Then I have my outlining pens, and these are all pigment pens. I have the Sakura Micron in 005, and then the Stadler pigment liners in 01 and 02. So what I like to do is I like to outline with pencil first because I'm really bad at it. And then I will go over the outline with my Sakura Micron 005. Once I'm done with that, I will let it dry for a little bit and then I will erase the pencil outline with this Muji eraser. I really like this black Muji eraser. It works really well. It is tiny and perfect for storing in this little compartment up here. And it also looks kind of funny because it's the, this really dark black eraser, which is something that I like a lot. And then once I'm done with that, I will add a little bit of dimension with these thicker pigment liners. So I will basically just add a little bit of a thicker line everywhere where a shadow is going to be. And that way the outline gets a little more dimension. That's something that I enjoy very much. Next up, I have my Uniball Signo in white and I use this for adding highlights to my pictures once I'm done painting them And I also really like to use it as a correction pen because sometimes these pens tend to smudge and if I made a mess on the page I can just clean it up with this once uh, the pigment ink is dry and then I have my watercolor supplies These are the brushes that I like to use on the go this is my broadest brush and this is by Rico Design. It's the art school grade, so it's not their fine art grade. Then this one is actually the fine art quality and this is also made by Rico Design. This is a smaller tip. And the next time I have some money to spend on art supplies, I believe I will replace this one, which is quite battered and quite old, by a fine art grade quality brush in the same bigger size. And then I have this Windsor and Newton one. This is actually also a very nice quality brush and it's very, very small. So this is for the finest details. And the great thing about this is that it actually comes with this protective cover. So it's actually meant as a travel brush with it, which is something that I enjoy very much. Then I have my Schmincke travel set. And this actually came with another mixing area here. But I removed that because this is really all I need and I try to clean this out every once in a while so that I always have some fresh nice mixing area for on the go. Most of the colors in here are Schmincke Horadam colors. Some of them are Schmincke Academy colors and whenever one of them is finished I will just replace them with color from the tube. I actually store my replacement colors in this Derwent case. These are the Horadam tubes that I own right now. So you can see that I have some replacements for colors that I use most frequently and I have replaced most of the half pens but with tube color as of now. And then I have water of course and this is a tiny Nalgene bottle which I try to refill whenever I get the chance because this gets dirty quite easily. But it's the perfect size for keeping in this travel pouch. And I placed a magnet at the bottom so that it will stick securely to my travel watercolor case. These ones can be found at any outdoor supply store. 
And of course, I will always need a rag. This is just an old dish towel that I cut up. As you can just wash this out and reuse it over and over again. Then I have these two Ollie clips, which are really, really strong magnets, as you can see. And I like to use these to hold open my sketchbook, if it's a sketchbook that doesn't lie perfectly flat, like perfect 180 degrees, like the Hobonichi will do that, so you don't need them for holding it open. But it's really nice to use these to clip your pencil board to the Hobonichi page that you're working on right now. And the last things I keep in here are some things for memorabilia and for cutting washi tape. I have these scissors and this glue stick and these have come in handy as well. Of course you don't need them if you're just going to draw, but I really like to add memorabilia to my Hobonichi art journal pages as well and so those come in very handy. Alright, so that was it. That's everything that I keep in my travel case. Of course, there's also other art supplies that I really love and that I own. This is all the rest of them. You can see that I don't have a huge stash of supplies. I'd rather buy good quality art supplies and have a limited number of those or a limited choice than buying a lot of low quality grade art supplies that I never end up using because I don't really like them. Something that I really love working with but didn't make it into my travel case are these and these are the Pit Artist Pens by Faba Castell. They're available in a lot of different colors. They're very beautiful colors. These come with a nice brush tip that's actually really good quality and lasts for quite some time. Something else that I really love because they have very very brilliant wonderful colors is the Aqua Marker by Letrezette. Letrezette also makes the Pro Markers, which some of you might be familiar with. And this is the water movable, water based markers by Letrezette. They have a fine tip on one end and a very broad tip on the other. The colors are absolutely brilliant and I love working with them. They are perfect for the Hobonichi pages. Unfortunately, they are pretty big, so it's not that easy to take them with you. But when you're at home and creating it from home, then these are definitely worth buying. And then I just have some replacements for things that I currently use. There's some more brushes, um, especially these two on the go water brushes with water tanks some more of the sakura microns some more of these stadler pigment liners and i also recently got into drawing with india ink i have india ink in this fountain pen as well right that was it that's all of my art supplies and that's all the art supplies that i absolutely love creating with I will try and leave the links to everything that I mentioned down below so you can get it for yourself and try it if you are interested. I would absolutely love to hear what your favorite art supplies are, so please please share it in the comments down below. I will be back with a new video very soon and I will see you then. Bye!